So, hello, hello. I'm just trying to fix my camera. So, I know I just posted a video about my chronic kidney stones. And I just wanted to do another video about uh, what's been going on with me since I really didn't touch on that in the other video because it's going to be an entire video unto itself. So, apparently I, ha I have chronic kidney stones. Now, I never had a kidney stone in my entire life until about, I'm looking at my calendar, um, I'm going to say about two weeks ago. I was going to go to Mass, and I had this terrible pain in my right side, and um, like really, really bad, but it was like, you know, first I thought, okay, maybe it's an ovary, maybe I'm ovulating, but I'm like, that pain's too sharp, and it's too high, so the first thing I do, I call my mom, and I said, mommy, because uh, she has had her appendix taken out as a teenager, what side is your appendix scar on? And she's like, why? And I'm like, because I think I'm having appendicitis. And then she's like, well, maybe it's just gas. So I take a gas X and I go lay down. And I was fine. I was fine the next day. I was fine up until the time I was going to start my new job. And while I'm driving to my new job, I have that terrible pain in my right side, but it's much stronger than it was. So I'm at my new job, and I am doing some training on the computer for like the first two hours. And, you know, my new boss tells me, you know, you don't look good. And I said, I feel terrible. I have a horrible pain in my right side. And if you don't mind, I'm taking myself to the ER because I am in terrible pain. He's like, okay. He was a little annoyed, but whatever. I would be annoyed too if I was like the manager and my new employee is like going to the ER on her first day with pain in her side. So, but whatever. You know, they say when ish hits the fan, you know, it hits the fan. So I go to the ER and, you know, I have no insurance, by the way. And they're poking at me, poking at me. And they're like, it's probably your gallbladder. And if it is, it's, we're going to have to take it out. But we're going to do some tests first. So first they do an ultrasound. And um, then they do a CAT scan. And first they say, well, well the, when the, blah, I got back I got back up a little bit. I'm talking too fast. So the ultrasound, they first tell me, well, it's your kidneys, and by the way, your white blood cell count is really high, which means somewhere there's an infection in your body, which means, um, well, that's why your blood cell, white blood cells count is so high, but we're going to take another test. We're going to do a CAT scan. So they do a CAT scan, and God bless the man or woman who invented CAT scans, because CAT scans are amazing. Because with a CAT scan, they were able to pinpoint in my kidney that it was a stone, and it was like 0.5 millimeters. And I would be, it was small enough that I would be able to pass it on my own. And there was no surgery needed. They sent me home. They gave me a ton of prescriptions. And then um, I went home and it passed. But then that Sunday, like, I didn't pass that, like, day. And it wasn't even like, you know, I, I'm, I know some people pass them. And it's like you know, like childbirth, but I did not have that problem. And if I did, I don't know because I have a very high, I must have a very high tolerance for pain because it wasn't that terrible. Thank God. I did not have this like climactic in the most negative way, of course, um, climactic, um, episode of pain and so that didn't happen. Now I have the second stone and, you know, they wanted me to follow up in the ER or go see this doctor. I couldn't go see this doctor because the doctor wouldn't take me because I have no insurance. And so I go back to the ER and I'm thinking, well, I just got a UTI because I've been having this terrible need to like urinate. And like every five minutes I had to urinate, right? So I go back to the ER and then I'm like, I'm very confident it's a UTI, I've had this before, they have to examine me, it's the law, blah, blah, blah. 
So they sent me for another CAT scan, being that I had a kidney stone before. And to my shock and dismay, it is not a UTI, but yet another kidney stone. And this one is like a little larger, but it will still pass. And I'm, I don't know if I passed it yet or not, because I haven't like really seen any result of passing it. So they're like, oh, it's a little bigger. I'm like, fantastic, it's bigger, but you will still be able to pass. I think it's like 0.6 or something, or 0.64 or something like that. I don't know how they get these numbers, but the point is, this is what's going on. And yes, I am having a GoFundMe fundraiser for myself because I don't know how much all of this is going to cost me. And I don't have health insurance yet. I'm going to get there with my new job. I think in about another guesstimation of 45 days I will have health insurance but I don't know if they will cover any of this because this is a pre-existing condition now so I am just trying to cover myself so if you can donate to me and five ten bucks that will help so much because I don't know what's like what's gonna happen I'm just trying to cover myself and have a very non-traditional way of co covering medical bills of insurance because if Let's put it this way. If charity care doesn't cover everything and my insurance at work doesn't cover everything, or if they decide, if Congress decides to say goodbye Obamacare, I am up the creek without the paddle. So, if you can, donate. Thank you. Love you. God bless you. I will post the link at the, in the comments of this video. Thank you again. God bless.